In this tutorial, you will learn how to use the Publish Subscribe pattern in Ably. You will build a really simple web app, which, when it loads, will publish a message to a channel and at the same time subscribe to that channel to receive updates. You will be doing this entirely on the client side using vanilla JavaScript and the Ably JavaScript client library. The Publish Subscribe pattern, or PubSub for short, is a popular way of handling real-time messaging. It enables any number of publishers to send data to one or more channels. Interested parties can subscribe to the channel to receive the data. For example, if you're running a delivery service, you might want customers to know exactly where your delivery service is. No matter how many people are subscribed to the channel, they will all receive the same updates at exactly the same time. Sending and receiving messages instantaneously like this is called real-time messaging. The great thing about PubSub is that publishers and subscribers are completely decoupled. Let's get started. First, you'll need a simple HTML page to host your app. Let's change the title to Ably PubSub and then save it as Example HTML. Then we will open it in our browser so we can see the log output in the developer console. Because this tutorial is purely JavaScript, there is no DOM output. As you can see, I've detached the developer console so that we can see the code in my IDE next to the output. Before we write any code, we're going to need an API key to authenticate with the Ably platform. Head over to ably.com and click the sign up button. Enter your details and select the sign up option. I already have an account, so pause the video while you register for the service. Once you have an Ably account, you can create an app. An Ably app effectively provides a namespace to a group of channels and queues and manages access to them using API keys. Create an app called PubSub Test, and you can see it creates a root API key for you. You can create API keys with various capabilities, such as subscribe only, publish and subscribe, and so on. In this example, you'll just use the root API key, which enables many capabilities. But in a production app, you'll probably want to limit these to only what the client should have access to. Copy the root API key and keep it safe somewhere. Back in your code editor, the first thing you need to do is install the Ably client library. The easiest way to do this is to use our CDN. Let's add a script tag in the document head and reference the CDN using this URL. Next, we want to instantiate the client library. But to do that, we need an API key. In the body, let's add a script tag. You can use the Ably client library with callbacks or promises. In this example, we're using the promise interface, which enables us to use the await keyword for asynchronous code rather than using callbacks. Here, we'll create constants for the key and the real-time instance. And I will run the code before I replace the key so you can see what happens. Be aware that we wouldn't normally advocate hard coding your API key. This is very insecure and it's important that you never do this with production apps. We recommend that you set up an authentication server to issue tokens to clients instead. This ensures that your API key is never exposed publicly. Please visit this page to see how to do that. Let's add a console log to see what's happening. We'll save and reload the page. The console tells us that the client library is working, but it also tells us that our connection failed because of invalid access token in request. Now I'll use my API key. And now we can see the Ably instance. Great. We'll write all our Ably logic inside a function called do pubsub. I'll create that function, mark it as async. Then we want to make sure our client is connected before we attempt to work with it. We do this by monitoring the connected event. Let's see. Right. Well, nothing happened. 
I did this on purpose and you probably know why it failed. This is because we defined the main function but did not execute it. Let me fix that. Okay, and now? Great. Our main function connects perfectly. With our client connected to Ably, now we will create a channel and subscribe to it. Here we've created the location channel. If the channel doesn't exist, doing this will create it and immediately join it. Great, the console is showing us the channel. There. For publish and subscribe, we need two routines. First, we will establish our subscriber. When a message is received on the channel, the data will be passed into the event handler, and in this case we display the payload in the console. Let's see how that looks. We reloaded, but nothing happened. This is because the subscriber's event listener was not triggered. For us to see the response, we need to publish something. And that is as simple as calling the publish method, passing it an optional event description, in our case we called it update, followed by the message itself. Here we're using a simple string. Right, and now when we reload, yes, we see the response. Over here, if you change console log to console table, you get a neatly formatted output, which is really easy to read. Before we finish, let's make the payload more complex so it represents our hypothetical delivery van's proximity and location. Here, we will replace the string with an object literal. The geolocation payload has the coordinates of our office. As you can see, the publish method lets us send the object. Unlike WebSockets, you don't need to prepare the payload with JSON Stringify. The Ably client will handle that for you, both when you send and when you receive. It will serialize and deserialize the message. And that brings us to the end of this tutorial. We've created a channel, set up a subscriber and the event listener, and published a message to that channel to trigger the listener. And that is the essence of publish and subscribe, and the core of event-based architecture. Look in the video description for links to related material on our website and the GitHub repo URL with the complete code example. If you make anything with Ably, please let us know on Twitter or on our Discord server and we'll give you a shout out on our social media channels.